Alright, shh. The fish might bite. Shh, hush. Everybody quiet. I gotta get this fish. Ready? 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 Here we go. Oh! What'd I get? I don't know. We'll never know. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Look at my boat. You want to get this boat? Because the I, I have a boat. Do you have a boat? <laughs> this is the Tuscar dinghy. Yes, it's called a Tuscar dinghy. You can see it right here. Had it in my toy page. It is a toy that you can get. And it allows you to raft across water. One thing that's really kind of unique about this is that it just gives you the ability to walk across water. So you're if you're on land, you don't have to continuously summon this boat. You just walk across the water and it suddenly shows up. It allows you to get all kinds of different places, obviously water-wise. But like most importantly, it lets you go fishing, probably out in the outskirts here where there's nowhere safe to land, but there's really good like fishing pools. I'm not much of a, fisher per a fisherman, but um, this is something you can get. It will help your fishing. And most importantly, it's a freaking boat, and it's really cool. It's like the Mr. Pandaria boat, right? So I'm going to show you how to get it today in this video. We're going to talk about that right now. I'm going to start off this journey with my shaman, and then we're going to switch to my priest who actually did the full quest line to go get this thing. But with my shaman right now, I'm going to show you guys where this quest chain begins this is really important i flew over it. it's right here so this quest chain revolves around a guy named rurik it's this guy right here okay this is where the quest line quest chain starts so it's right like here on your map it's in the azure span okay the coordinates are 45 by 49 roughly 45 by 49 you can see in the top right hand corner there so this is where it begins now Rurik is the man you're gonna you're looking for. You're gonna talk to him. He's gonna give you two quests here. You want to do both of them. The Mammoths Matter quest is the main one that you need to do, and this is gonna give you some rep as well, which is really good. I'm not gonna do the quests again because I did them all on my sh on my uh, priest, but just know that Rurik is gonna go and try and do this stuff with you. And unfortunately, he ends up getting captured, and then you have to do another. Basically, you have to do the first quest like in this area right here, of course. Then you do another quest, which is kind of like more over here maybe here i can't quite tell i can't remember it's and then the final quest happens in a cave over here we are going to fly over there i'm going to show you the cave the cave is right over here i have it, i have it marked wrong it's right here actually so this is the final cave so this is the final cave right here where it ends this last quest will take you into this cave that's conveniently hidden by a, a shadow tree and you, you have to rescue Rurik from here. Once you rescue him, he goes over to this island over here. Now, let's go over there. So, it's about three quests or so. A little quest chain that starts up where I showed you before. And then it finishes here. And Rurik will end up standing right here on this sort of pier area here. And there'll be a boat here ready to go for you. And it will look exactly like this Tuscar dinghy right here. So... This boat, there'll be a boat sitting like right here. Once Rurik returns from here and you've rescued him, you can start the quest chain that I'm going to show you in the video footage right now. Let's flip over to there. Oh, Let's no, start no, this no, up. No, no, I hit the wrong button. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Thank so. You. All, right. <clears throat> All right. Get it. Uh, there we go. Let's um, let's talk about this for a sec. So I'm doing it now. When you do the initial quest chain, it's going to call be called the I would like to take your River Rapids ride again. So the you're going to do an initial quest called the River Rapids ride. You go do that. You have to collect like 10 fish. You're going to come back here and then you're going to say, I want to take the River Rapids ride test again. And then you have to get 40 fish four zero. I can't do 40 fish on your journey here. Yeah, and you can see the fish right there. You throw nets at them. If you want to collect large amounts of fish altogether, you can press the other action button that you have in the bottom there. Oh, no, you don't need rep, Drac. It will drop a um, a net at your feet. Let me just lower this a little bit. I was talking to people on Twitch while I was doing this. So what you need to do is collect 40 fish. You can see in the top right-hand corner, it is, it is counting up. There's the big net that I just dropped. It's counting up the amount of fish that I have. Now... We actually encountered a glitch. You'll see at the beginning of this that I started out with my time, with my, uh, sorry, before I even get in the boat, I have 36 fish collected. Now, that is from the previous run that I did. Now, you're supposed to get 40 fish in one run, but I basically found a glitched into this, which is 
once you get to the bottom of this river, there's a there's a Tusker guy standing there, and he says, hey, I'll teleport you back. If you, like, failed and you want to try again, I'll teleport you back really quickly, and you can try again. You go, thank you, and you teleport back. If you don't talk to him and instead just fly back to the beginning, then – oh, sorry. Then it will, in fact – um keep this counter up here for you so i have 36 fish now it restarts the encounter right now so it looks like i lost my 36 fish but you can see in a second here once i collect my fourth fish it'll give me the achievement boom right there river rapids wrangler so i've actually already got the achievement because i kind of cheated i kind of cheesed my way through it. i didn't realize i was cheesing my way through it but i did this is how it goes though you're going to fly down the rapids at a breakneck speed and you're trying to collect fish along the way again you're supposed to do this in one run so i'm going to use my big net here collect a bunch and i'm throwing out my regular net it's quite difficult actually <laughs> links just said he missed a bunch it can be difficult to do oh, this. No. I was failing really hard, hard in this run. Yeah, I was failing really hard. Oh, no. I still got 35, but I missed a lot. There's got to be a little bit of room for Eric sometimes. So you just keep flying down here. Try to collect fish. 30. This is the final hurrah right here. I don't know if I've done yet, but I got 33. Miserable. So I got bailed out by the fact that I kind of cheesed this and already won at the beginning. But I'm going to show you. I'm throwing the net, like, right. There's oh, links right there. Seem to register. Uh -huh. I got one. So there's links right there, and then Tariq oh, wait, is gonna. Wait. So Tariq is gonna, or um, Rurik, sorry, is gonna stand on the shore, and you can ask Rurik to teleport you back, and Why? that's you the way that you get it? back. However, so there he is right there. I got it before I even started that run. If instead you want to try and do the cheese thing that I did, just fly back from right here. Don't talk to Rurik. Just fly back, and then start it up again. Restart the entire process again, and um. You will, I think, be able to cheese it like I did. So you fly back. You're at the top again. You say, I'd like to take your River Rapids you need ride again. One. You take it again. And then, again, the the first fish that I – four fish that I got, I end up cheesing it, right? So so that's how I ended up doing it. Um, Again, unless Blizzard fixes this, you're probably going to have to do this in one run. Um, So I think I talked to Tariq. He teleports you right here. You can see this. I cheated. Please send me back. There we go. So that's how it works. So I do think you can kind of cheat this by doing your first run and then don't talk to a reach. Just fly back, do a second run and hope that it's going to keep the counter going from your first run and you'll be able to get the boat easy peasy. Otherwise, you're going to need to get all 40 fish in one run. It's not super hard. Lynx actually did it the real oh, way. I got the dinghy. But um, do I start a quest and the quest chain will lead you? Yeah, I'm going to explain Barney's it here. Little... Let's get on the dinghies here. Oh, baby. There's me. Yeah. Lynx does it one more time. So you can just fish from here. This is so cool. I think he says he gets it here. Uh, where where you can do it and then flip the... I just had Sleep was explaining Whoa. the whole thing to us. Got 40 and I got it. There. Nice. Lynx. So Lynx actually did it right there. He got 40. You gotta teleport back. Then I, we're going to get Lynx over here. He's going to show us his dinghy. You can cast spells. <laughs> nice. So there, we're both on our boats now. Very, very cool. What's cool is that um, uh, Lynx discovers here that you can actually switch forms. So we start fishing as you do. He switches forms here to his bear, and it makes the boat, like, bigger, I think. Let me skip ahead. There he is. Look at him. Look at how big you are. He looks so ridiculous. That's so funny. And then here's the final one here. Watch this. Wait, wait. Can I jump on you? Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All right, let's go. Ah, look at that, baby. And then oh, he goes, no. and then he tries to kill us. Get me off this deer he now. tries to send us off the edge. All right. All right, here we go. But the boat, thankfully. Oh, but then, okay, so the boat gets, so then we then we try to go off the edge for oh, real. Wait, My boat doesn't despawn this time. I'm going to die. <laughs> I couldn't levitate. We both die. It's so great. I tried to levitate. Oh, I couldn't. Damn. Very funny. Very funny stuff there. Anyway, that is how you get the dinghy, guys. That's it. It's um a simple quest line. Let me go over it one more time for you there. Um, let me just show you in game what that's looking like. So again, what's really cool about it? Number one is it's a buff. It's a buff you put in. So if I get rid of my dinghy buff, you can see I can, I'm gonna float in the water. But if I put on my dinghy, as soon as I walk into the water, it puts me into boat form basically, which is really really cool. It does say something about being able to press space bar. It says space jumping while rafting will paddle the raft. 
which makes you go faster so that you can go faster you can see me moving a little bit quicker here now which is very cool you can of course fish from here which is very awesome that's the really the main purpose of it the quest chain i'm just going to remind you one more time starts over here let's go just follow the road until you get to this fork right here and Rurik will be started will be right here you're going to do this mammoth quest then you're going to do a couple of other quests basically in like this entire zone right here it's like a big circle right in this zone right here you're going to finish with the cave over here you're going to rescue your reek in the cave that's your final quest and then you're done and uh you will have a boat for yourself to go fishing so there you go guys if you want to get the tuscar dinghy this is how you can do it I, I love it i love this side quest i want more of this stuff from blizzard please i want to be able to customize this thing let me like I really hope they add customization to the dinghy like later in the expansion. That'd be really fun to go chase down some of that stuff. But let me know what you guys think. How are you? Um, how is your experience in the Dragon Isles so far? I hope you're having a blast like I am. Go get your dinghy by following this quest line. You don't need any extra rep. Just go down to the uh, Azure uh, span and get it done. Okay? I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.